Welcome back to Hear It From a Husky. I'm Dr. Lori Fiorenza, and this year I will be talking to a variety of staff members making an impact in the school and throughout the community. Today we will be talking about the Oak Park River Forest High School Motivational Mentorship Program. I am so excited to be joined by Brianna Burton, the Motivational Mentorship Program Coordinator. Welcome, Brianna. Hi, I'm so happy to be here. Thank you so much for joining us. Can you tell us a little bit about your vision for the Motivational Mentorship Program? Yeah, of course. So when I came into the role about a year and a half ago, the program kind of wasn't up and running fully. You know, they had a lot of turnover and leadership. And so that really allowed me a blank canvas to kind of create the program Mm. within my vision, of course, with the support of Dr. Applewhite, my boss. And so essentially the program is the same as it was years ago when it first started a student resource program available to students. But I wanted to make sure that students had a, a space that they can come to through any period of the day. That's a free period, study hall or lunch, instead of just lunch programming. I thought we would be missing a huge opportunity to connect with students on a more personal level if we were only seeing them during Mm -hmm. fourth, fifth, and sixth. And so, yeah, so I basically opened the program up to be available first through eighth period. We have weekly programming that is centered around, you know, belongingness and engagement. Um, And we do that by way of like lessons and activities, Uh, We'll have workshops and guest speakers come in and the kids favorite field trips uh, at least (laughs) once a month. We take the group on field trips uh, to really immerse them into like different cultures, history, the arts. And so it's been really amazing so far. So where does your passion for this program come from? Yeah, so um, it started in college, actually. Um, I was a part of a nonprofit um, organization, Elite 23. Shout out, you guys. And we worked with students in the local area. And so we would go into middle schools. And then I, when I became president, developed a high school mentorship program where we could connect with young women in the area that were on their way to college and kind of be mentors to them. And so I figured why not bring that same level of love and passion that I have for working with students Mm -hmm. to my alma mater and come back to OPRF and work. Yeah. Wonderful. So tell us a little bit about the benefits of a mentorship program, especially with young people in the high school. Yeah, of course. So I've worked in many different roles in the building as well and working with students when I would talk to them about, you know, how are they feeling about school? How are they liking it here? A lot of feedback that I got was, you know, they weren't just feeling connected to maybe their peers and even just the adults in the building, right? Not feeling like they had a space or a person that they could really like come to and just talk, vent, or just even celebrate their wins with, right? And so I would say that's the main benefit of the program Mm -hmm. is being able to come in, build a report with trusted adults in the building, but also the connections that you get with your peers. I mean, I've seen a lot of new friendships blossom and bloom in that program. Mm -hmm. Like kids you wouldn't even expect knew each other, right? Are now in the hallways giving high fives, showing up to each other's events for support. And so I think we're essentially doing what the vision was to create that community. And so that's been amazing. That's wonderful. So you did mention a few opportunities and things that you've seen in the students, but do you have some fond memories, like some things that you just think, man, this is this is how it's supposed to work that you could share? Yeah. Oh, that's really hard because there are so many. But right off the top of my head, probably last semester, I had a student who joined the program right when I first relaunched it. And he was referred due to just, you know, lack of motivation in the classroom, not really having a clear direction on what he wanted to do and kind of, you know, avoiding class. Essentially, he wasn't connected to the building. And last semester, you know, he ended up joining the nursing elective or the class that's offered here. And it started really off as a joke. And that's kind of the funny thing. Last year, he'd be like, I'm going to be a nurse. And he would make a joke out of it. I'm like, well, Mm. you know, there are male nurses. And uh, I'm like, and you can make a good career out of that. I'm like, the high school actually offers you an opportunity to get a little bit of insight in the field to see if it's something you connect to. And I guess eventually he took me serious when I talked to his counselor. And then he got put into the class last semester. And I have never seen that kid work so hard. I mean, studying diligently, like, no, Ms. Bree, I got to study for this test. Can you help me? Can you quiz me? Like going to class on time, going to all of his classes on time. It was just amazing to see this one just spark in one class Mm -hmm. like led to better habits throughout the rest of his school day even to now where he's like yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna do so well this semester I don't have nursing anymore but I'm like just I feel better about school because I now know how to be a better student 
That's amazing. Mm-hmm. So it really sounds like the program is twofold. It really sounds like it's supporting, inspiring, building community, but also helping students find a place and a space where yeah. they see themselves. Yeah, absolutely. And finding success. That is so wonderful. So I'm sure that some of our students or parents who are listening want to know, how does a student get involved in this opportunity? I heard you mention a referral, but can you just kind of speak to that process of how a student could become involved in motivational mentorship? So the referral process is through their support team. So a counselor, dean, or social worker, if they feel like this is a place where the student could benefit, they have a process of sending in a referral. So they have the link to that and everything. In terms of a student, if they want to just come on their own, I'm in room 3250. And so we are really a drop-in service. And so it's like, ooh, I heard you guys on here uh, from a Husky, or you know, I just seen posters or flyers throughout the building. They can just drop in, introduce themselves, and we get to know each other. Yes, that's main, the main way. Or okay. staff can um, also refer students that they see in classes. And I've been getting a lot of that this year. Just shoot me an email. My email is bburton at oprfhs.org. And I'll make sure that I connect with that student. Well, it sounds like this program has been revamped and is really taking off and doing a great job of impacting our students. So thank you so much for joining me. I really yes. appreciate hearing about this. Of course. Thank you so much. Have me back at another time. Thank you for listening to this episode of Hear It From a Husky. Stay tuned for more from our Husky faculty making an impact.